heard gunshots go off and it was very slow, like two or three slow bangs, but it was the echo and it was so loud. And so I just knew right away those were gunshots. So all 30 of us run over to the side of the room that shares the teacher's desk. You wouldn't be able to see anything if you're the shooter trying to look in the classroom through that glass panel. He's shooting and the walls are vibrating and it's the loudest noise I've ever heard in my life. And like my body's shaking, but I am telling myself that this is just a really, really, really effed up drill. And because this is this is Parkland, like this, this wouldn't happen here. And obviously my gut's saying one thing, I'm, my brain's trying to tell me something else. And then 90 seconds into the shooting, he shoots into my classroom and hit four kids. I didn't know that people were hit. There was just debris everywhere and kids were screaming. And then after he kept walking west down the first floor hallway, the kids in my classroom were reacting and were making weird noises and begging for help. We're there for about 20 minutes until first responders come into our classroom to get us out. By the time police had escorted us out and after those 20 minutes, I stood up for the first time and I just looked over the desk and that was where everyone was that was hit. And they had already taken out two injured kids. And so they left behind the girl that was killed. Her name is Carmen Shentrup and another girl who was injured. And so I'm just staring and it's like, I can't move. I'm just frozen because I can't believe what I'm looking at. And it's to the point where the, the police are just like, get out, come out of the room. And so we're all kind of like pushed out. And my friend and I are just jogging out of the room together. And we're stepping over glass. We're getting into the hallway that was just, when I walked in, it was so lively and right. So many students, Valentine's Day's balloons and chocolates and candies. And then exiting the hallway, it was just so smoky. There was just bullet holes riddled through the wall, magazines on the floor. The laptop, the girl that was killed in the hallway was there that she was using. The kids that were killed in the hallway were laying side by side. It was just hell. It was just, it was hell. And my brain was just like, what is happening? Because when I came in here, it was so innocent. And when I'm leaving, this is war. This is a war zone. 